Hey what's up and how's it going? My name is Toby and in today's video I want to show you one of my new favorite features for Lightship, the free AR plugin for Unity, which just improves the overall development workflow of AR apps and games tremendously. So you probably know that when developing an AR app, one of the most tedious tasks is to always build your app on device to test out some kind of changes you made or some kind of systems you built and then figure out if it's working the way intended and then going back to the editor, doing changes, testing it again, can take a massive amount of time just to always get the application to your phone and then go back to the editor. So there have already been a few uh, tools to make this easier. For Lightship this has been the playback which will allow you to basically record a video and test your app in editor. So the problem with that was that it's just a fixed position and you can't really move around or manipulate the camera position later on. And there's also been the XR simulator, but this only worked with AR Foundation, which is Unity's uh, proprietary AR solution, which doesn't have many of the nice features that Lightship has, such as AR meshing uh, for all kinds of phones, not only the one with the lighter, and also object detection, semantic segmentation, and so on. And so the new Lightship simulator builds upon the XR simulator in Unity's AR Foundation, but enables all the cool features that Lightship provides. And now we can pretty much build our whole application within the Unity editor, test out nearly all the features that they are, and then only occasionally build our application to our phones, which would just speed up and easify the whole process enormously. So let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So let's start by downloading the ARDK samples from the GitHub link in the video description. And once they are downloaded, we can go to our uh, downloads and then simply uh, unzip the file. And then let's just copy the file into our projects folder and let's rename it, for example, into our Lightship uh, Simulator Test. Okay, so then let's go into our Unity Hub and let's click Add a Project. Let's navigate to the folder that we just uh, copied the project and click on Open. So then it might say that your version is missing. So it's, I think it's done with 2021, uh, 2021 LTS, but 2022 will work as well. So just change the version and click Continue. And so then once it's open, let's go to Lightship settings. And then let's just get an API key because we need that to build the app if we wanted to. So you might get uh, forwarded to this side or if not, then you might need to create a new account and log in, create a new project, name it uh, as you want and just copy and paste the API key. So then let's make sure there are no errors in the project validation and in the XR plugin management, let's choose the Lightship simulation and now we're good to go. So then finally in the build settings, let's change to either iOS or Android as we wish. And now we can go ahead and go to Windows XR AR Foundation and the XR environment. And here we can actually install the sample environments. And for that, let's just click up here and install sample environments. This might take a while though. And so once this has finished, we can choose between a variety of environments. So we could simply open up uh, one here. And if it's not showing right away, there's like some little bug. Let's just click on this globe here uh, two times and now we can see the environment. And we can also just go through and find one uh, that we like. All right, now back in the editor view, let's go to our AIDK samples into the meshing and the scenes and let's just open up one of those meshing scenes here. Um, let's first of all also change our view to iPhone 11 for example. And now we can actually see that our meshing is working in editor with the uh, AR simulation. Um, and we can potentially go ahead from here and just build our AR application and just use it as if it was on device. And this is pretty awesome in my opinion. 
So then let's also check some other scenes. So this one is with the uh, navigation system, for example. This also works flawlessly. And we can even use something like um, object detection to um, detect the objects that are in the XR environment. So let's also find out how we can add some custom environments. So we can, for example, go to the asset store and just search for some kind of asset. For example, this apartment kit here is quite nice. That's what I used. I can simply import that into Unity. And then let's just open up the scene with the apartment kit. And so once this has been loaded, let's just delete the objects that we don't need in the scene. And then we can just rename this one, for example, to uh, apartment environment and um, create a new folder and call this one, for example, uh, custom XR environments like this. And then just drag in our apartment prefab here. Then we can go to window XR, AR foundation XR environments. And here we can go ahead and create a new environment. Then let's just select our created folder to save this one here and also name it as we like. And now if we just move this to the side a little bit, we have a new prefab open here. We can just drag in the one that we just saved and now we have our apartment um, prefab pretty much almost ready to use. We'll just do a little, um, we're just gonna do a few adjustments here. So we have this simulated uh, en uh, environment script here. And the first thing we should do is adjust the starting point of the camera. For that, let, let's just find a good position. Let's create a new empty object and then just click Control shift f or um, Command shift f to move the object to the camera position and adjust it to the view. And then we can just go ahead and copy the, um, first of all, let's copy the um, position. Just paste this one into the simulated environment, uh, this kind of simulated uh, camera here. And let's also take the rotation and just copy this one as a, a quaternion and also paste it in here. And so then we'll see that the starting position of the camera will be exactly where we just um, positioned our viewpoint. We can then just delete the uh, object. What we also can do is um, change the bounds of which the camera can move, but I think this is already looking quite well. Then in the rendering settings, can, for example, just choose a uh, skybox and then just select uh, the default skybox here in uh, our material settings like this. And then we can also just create a new light, for example, um, ideally a directional light. And this one can kind of act like our sun here just increase the intensity a little bit and then also drag this one into our um, simulated environment. And now let's go to our XR environment and just check whether it has been selected. So this looks quite good. So yeah, our environment is now selected as the one that we wanted to use. And then if we hit play, we're actually in our newly created environment and can use it for developing our AR application. And this is extremely awesome. I really like this tool, it makes just everything easier. However, this tool has still a few issues. So one example is here, I created this script to very easily do some ray casting and then just position objects on the AR mesh. The issue is, however, that, um, that there are some bugs currently with um, the game view, so the resolution and also kind of the rotation. And now if we have, for example, the iPhone 11 here as the aspect ratio, then you can see if you want to place, it's not being placed 
well at the position where you click. So there's some issues with the ray casting. So I did a lot of testing and actually resolution 750 by 550 is the one where you almost don't have these uh, bugs. However, I'm pretty sure that with the next update, so for example, 3.6 or so, they will have fixed these bugs. And if you're watching this in the future, then you might not have these issues anymore. Um, so yeah, this is something we still have to deal with, but still the XR simulation is such an amazing tool to just get started with your AR development and make it so much easier and faster that it's just very awesome. All right, but that's it for this tutorial. So I'm very interested in your guys' opinion. Do you think that this Lightship Simulator is actually a pretty good and useful tool? Is this something that you want to guys use in your uh, personal projects? Or do you say that the playback, which has been the prior way of testing things in editor, has already been enough for you? So please write a comment about that. I'm very thrilled to read what you guys think. But until then, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.